There are two types you will work with in the cross-platform code to build your Xamarin Forms application, the application class and pages. The application class is a cross-platform entry point to your application. It is located and used by the platform-specific code to initialize the application and the project template will always create a derived class from the application type. It will point to the first page of the application. The page is used to display a single screen to the user. It defines the UI, either in code or markup, and provides the behavior for the screen. The application class will always identify the starting page through a property, and then you can create the other pages to navigate to through various built-in mechanisms. As you saw, our custom code typically starts in the application class. There is only one of these. The system enforces this through the singleton pattern. The default project template creates a custom class that derives from the Xamarin Forms application class, and you get to it from anywhere in your application through the application current static property. There are several interesting things available on the application singleton, including virtual methods related to lifecycle notifications, the main page property, which references the currently displayed screen. If you change this property, the screen changes events which are raised as navigation happens in the application, and basic support for managing application state persistence. One thing to note here is that Windows Phone projects all have an application class as well. Android also has an application type, but it's not used in the default project templates from Xamarin. Make sure you don't confuse these same name types as you work with your Xamarin Forms application. The lifecycle methods are virtual methods your derived app class can override. The default template actually creates the overrides for you. You can just add code in. There are three methods. Use the onStartOverride to initialize your application's data. This method is called when the app is launched and it was not running. Here you can load data from persistent storage, hit web services to cache off data, and to perform other launch type activities. The second method is on sleep. This is called when the application was active and the user switches away to another application. We sometimes refer to this as backgrounding. Often you don't really need to do much with this method. The data is still on your screens and all of your data is still available. The one thing you might need to do here is refresh your screen with current data. For example, consider a weather application. If it is suspended and then resumed, the data on the screen could be hours or even days old. Applications that display external volatile data which changes over time should use this notification to refresh their data.